girl protection. It's like that. Snap, snap. Well, hello out there, YouTube landia. Welcome to last week's review. You know how we do. And let's go. Today we're talking about the BGC episode 11, Tragic. Let's get right into it and let's get it started. It starts out with the two new replacements meeting up with each other, Camilla and I think it's Camille, Camilla, or whatever, and Christine. Well, she starts out right away looking beautiful, Camilla. She looks like Beyonce or Solange, Beyonce's sister, but she looks like that. She's fantastic looking. She's gorgeous, right? She compliments Christina. Christina didn't even compliment her, Christine, right? Christine looks to me like shit, okay? I don't even think she's pretty at all, but whatever. With her potato face and her mess or whatever. But, you know, looks like skin deep, whatever. But she thought she was all that. And I have to say, to, to hear Christine, like, talk, brag about herself in the tapes prior to her getting on the show, it's embarrassing because what she turned out to be at the end was like, bitch, please don't. But I don't want to get a little too ahead of myself, so let's start it from there. They walk in. They all excited to be in that shit smelling nasty house. And later on in one of those interview tapes, Camilla admits to that the house smelled like shit, crap, whatever, all kinds of hot mess. And you know how they do. They're a bunch of motherfucking pigs, all right? So they go in there and they're, hi, hey, we're here. Acting all stupid and shit. Bitches are upstairs or chin bow, like this. Mm, oh, we're not going to talk to them, you know, that shit all over again. Meanwhile, Elise, and let me tell you, she became the biggest, stupidest, disgustingest bitch in this episode. Her dumb ass was up there going, we have to start trouble with them. You know, I got it. They need to get it. What the fuck kind of thinking is that? Well, for me, that shit just proves that she deserves everything she got and more. Okay, and I want to admit it. I'm going to go admit it and say that Erica, with her dope fiend face and her hot mess looks, is the queen bee bitch up in that place. They follow her. She is mommy, okay? She's mommy. She says, do this, do that, and these dogs are jumping, right? They jump for mommy, and she's the head pit bull in a dress, so here you go. She's up there like, oh, shit, we created a monster, you know, referring to Elise. So the two replacements go up there, kiki, 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 you know, trying real hard to get on their good side. It ain't working. Bitches looking at them like they're stupid, so they go out. Oh, you want to go out with us? Blah, blah, blah. We don't want to go out with you. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember if they did or didn't because it was irrelevant. Okay? But I remember them sitting on the couch and the bitches looking at them like crickets. Cricket, cricket, cricket. While the bitches was talking. da 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 And it was really Christine. So, Christine is trying way too hard. Okay, Miss Thing? Way too hard. It's going to get you nothing but eating by the sharks later. You're going to find out. So, they're all just sitting there. The other one. Camille knows better to, you know, calm down and relax. She ain't going to try that hard because she could see that it's not helping Christine out, not even a little bit. Yap, yap, yap. So the girls say, oh, doesn't she remind us of the dolphins? So they put her to an animal. And she laughed and liked it. Whatever. I would have smacked a bitch. I would have pulled a bitch coat quick, right? Well, nobody did. So front forward, we run or whatever. Don't remember. I'm sorry. You know how I am. But they go out to eat. The midget Gia other fucking bitch um, Erica you know the pit boot in the dress they all get dressed up go eat or get dressed down or whatever because they look like a hot mess it's never because she always cute you know how she is so by some weird coincidence they bump into some producer Jazzy you know what a name right and he's there he happens to be there yeah uh-huh we know that that was a setup from the show anyway let's go so they're sitting there, and Erica's like, you know, because before that, Erica was rapping. She rapping all, trying to be like Stassi and rap about Jenna and the rest of the dumb bitches there, and she want to get herself a little stupid chicken head record deal. No. So then they meet up with Jazzy. He's like, yeah, I want to hook you up, but the thing is, you got to bring Gia. So meanwhile, Gia's still talking to Matt, making the ass out of herself, because later on, she make her ass out of herself, and she's all falling on the floor, drunk, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Homeboy don't really want to have nothing to do with her. He already acting like a Twitter hoe. So this little bitch is going to let Jazzy talk to her. Well, they be up in the studio. They hooked up her track because they heard it. It stunk. And they were all like, pay you. That's crap. So they told her, uh-uh. Change it around. We're going to hook it up. So they hooked it up a hell of a lot better than it was because I forgot what it was. It was just like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, I'm a bitch. You a bitch. Or whatever. Some fucking dumb shit. It was so stupid. It was the worst hip-hop you ever heard in your life. It was even worse than Flavor Flav's. Little R&B joint all done in auto-tune. And that, it was horrible. Look that shit up. But it was even worse than that. Well, whatever. They hooked it up, you know, as best as they could. You know, they tried to pump some air into it. And then while they're there, he's all feeling, you know, the little one, Gia. So Gia's feeling him. She don't know which way to go with it. 
Then she go make an ass out of herself for her man Matt, whatever. She goes back, and then all of a sudden, he make an ass out of himself for her. Talking about how she had a fat ass pussy with her little ass feet. Whatever. She didn't think that shit was cute, and neither did the rest of America. Okay, because I was watching that like, ew, he just took a shit on himself. No. Poof. So she, homegirl was smart enough to know, get in the car and leave, right? So she gets up in the car and they leave. Boom. She don't want him no more, but that shit helped her man to look good because now she finna him. So now G is back sweating Matt. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, this dumb ass bitch Christine is whining and crying about how she don't want to be there. She already got caught on the phone crying and whining back home to her sister that she don't want to be there. So, of course, Amy, you know, nosy as her ass is, was like, come here, let's talk, boom. Don't let them catch you crying, they'll eat you alive, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, this bitch, like, just stay more, two more days. So she was like, all right, but then she kept on whining and crying and then boo-hoo-hoo. Then all of a sudden, that's when her little friend, because they went in there as best friends, you know, oh, best friends, ooh, hoo 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 And the little Beyonce looking like, because she very pretty, I got to admit that. She a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl, make the rest of them look like hot mess and dogs, right? So Camille's like... Girl, stop whining and crying, you know, whatever. Okay, you want to leave it? Right? Fine. Here's where the shit gets real disgusting, okay? Because it don't get real. It gets real disgusting. These bitches need jail. They need to be strapped to a bed and a sane asylum. Come here and the rest of them, right? Boom. So this bitch goes up in the room and like, listen, guys, I decided that, yeah, I made history. I'm only going to be here for five more minutes. I'm the first BGC dumbest bitch to come up in here and spend two seconds up in this house and I gotta go because I'm scared I'm whatever I'm horny I'm hungry whatever right? so she gotta leave these bitches are like okay you wanna leave okay whatever mm -hmm. meanwhile they were treating her like shit crap or whatever but please she didn't get the treatment that Elise got but anyway I could see why she wanna go home the bitches are hyenas and need wet right so she's like I'm gonna leave Camille's like oh you gonna leave she got fed up she's all like I'm gonna help you pack your shit <laughs> crazy right whatever didn't much blame her until this so they take the bitch's shit, throw the shit off the balcony. Bitch should have took our switchblade and sliced bitches up. Because you would touch my shit like that? Oh, no, girlfriend, whatever, right? So she runs downstairs. She don't do shit. She don't even make a face. This gets the hyenas even more worked up, right? They're like, oh, so you want to leave? And Erica got her little bandana on. Of course, she's just the worstest chicken head. Bitch is fit for jail. She's fit for under the jail, whatever, right? So they're over there throwing homegirl shit all over the floor, stepping on, breaking her shit. This bitch just gets to the car. Let's go, let's go, let's go. She's scared. That's how they're like, oh, what? You're not going to say goodbye to us? You're not going to give us a kiss goodbye? Look, guys. These bitches go, boom, jump up into her fucking car. They go and jump into the passenger seat. Lil G is like the little pit bull. Like she said, she said this too. She's like, raw, raw. all up on her, right? They pulling her out the car by the hair like this. Homegirl is just like, help me, help me. She don't do shit. She ain't even trying to swing on a bitch. These bitches is punching on her face. Camilla, Erica, all of them, right? They all up in there. Well, they show a clip for later. But supposedly the next show where Mimi gets so fucking drunk. And she pukes her fucking guts out because she's afraid that she's next. Yes, Mimi, use your fucking mind. You are going to be next. They're going to look at you and say the weakest link, and they're going to come after you, bitch. And I'm just like, girl, put the liquor bottle down. Grab a blunt object because you're going to have to get it popping. These bitches are going to come after you next, Mimi. Okay, well, whatever. The show is getting out of control. I always say that it is, okay? I'm disgusted. These bitches ain't, they ain't low, guys. They ain't just monsters, right? So the twins are gone. They're all worse than the twins now. They're just all worse than the twins. Camilla, I don't even know. Christine said in, a, in another video that that bitch is crazy. She's crazy, right? The bitch is more than crazy. Because she was all like, friends, friends. And she's pretty and beautiful. Actually, she's beautiful. She comes off sweet. She comes off likable. You loving her. And then, boom, that bitch just went 730 and, and America saw it right there, live. Hello, watch little guys bug the fuck out and snap, right? whatever but i'm getting so sick of it i'm getting so sick and tired if you know how i feel you feel this that way so let me know how you feel out there i'm dying to hear what you got to say about this episode especially because hello what's going on with the oxygen network did they just fucking lose their marbles i mean this is ridiculous this is not some bully abuse crazy rah 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 shit don't make any sense at all okay yes christine was the weakest bitch in bgc history yes it's true it's true i will admit to that but does that mean they got ripped the bitch to shreds? I mean, they beat her ass like she was the SpongeBob twins. It was the SpongeBob twins all over again for me. I mean, hello. 
So I just want to know what you all out there are feeling, thinking, you know, what's going on. The Oxygen Network really needs to step up their game. Give us a good show. I'm really sick and tired. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the bullying. It's disgusting. I mean, it was pathetic. It was really disgusting. And Erica, I am dying to see that dope fiend face get smashed all over the place. But, yes. So like I always say, rate, comment, and subscribe. This is all for you. And thanks for watching my show.